everyone, my name's Aaliyah and welcome back to my channel. So I'm well aware that it's January and probably not the best time to be doing an over the garden wall speed paint. To be fair, I did draw this in October, but I haven't got a chance to talk about it yet. So we're gonna do that now. I had always vaguely known about the show, like I've heard about it every October and I know people would rewatch it, but I never had any interest in watching it myself. This spooky season though, I finally decided to bite the bullet and give it a watch and I am so thankful I did. The show is absolutely amazing and I can completely understand why everyone loves it so much. I'll talk about why I like the show so much in a moment, but right now I'm going to talk about the composition. Whoa, I cannot speak. The composition I decided on. So I was deciding between a few. I know I want to do something with the beast kind of looming over Wurt and Greg to give it a spooky feel and I also wanted trees and nature to be involved because one thing I loved about the show was its kind of painterly backgrounds so I definitely wanted to implement that into my drawing. I decided on one where the trees were kind of curving inwards towards the beast. I thought it would create that looming feeling that I wanted like the beast was kind of closing in on them and then I put working Greg walking in the middle. I kind of like how it looks. I feel like it looks a little bit like a portal or something, like you're looking into this magical world. At this point, I was kind of planning out how I wanted to shade the beast. I wanted him to be made out of like branches and leaves because I feel like in the show, you only ever see him in the trees. It's like he's part of them. I didn't just want him to be kind of like a black shadow because that felt a little bit boring, but as you can see, I was struggling. I thought I put him too low and it was looking a bit cramped, so I was trying to move him around a bit. I don't know if it worked, but oh well. Anyway, on to why I absolutely adored this show. I think the first thing I loved about it was the soundtrack. Instantly when I heard the opening, I was like, wow, this is going to be really good. I love when shows kind of have a solid soundtrack that makes them better. Like they know what vibe and aesthetic they're going for, so they choose music that really reflects that. And Over the Garden Wall succeeded 100% in making the music enhance the show. After I watched the show, I just had the soundtrack on repeat almost every single day. And one thing that I thought was super special about the soundtrack is when I listened to it every single time, it brought back those same nostalgic feelings that I got while I was watching the show. I feel like sometimes soundtracks for shows or movies don't bring back that feeling that you got while watching them, and I don't think those ones are as successful. My favorite kind of music is like older music and older jazz, so this soundtrack really spoke to me. It was right up my alley. I'm not very emotional while reading books or watching shows. It takes a lot for a show or a movie to make me feel something, and especially to cry. So I really enjoyed that, even though I didn't cry or anything. I always felt something while watching it, usually nostalgia. And when I listen to the soundtrack or even like think of the show, I get that feeling, which is really cool. I think it's a perfect example of how a show doesn't need to be drawn out to be good. I think that it, one of the reasons why Over the Garden Wall is such a good show is because it ends on its own terms. There was no program trying to extend it just because it was popular and none of the episodes or moments felt contrived or unnecessary. They all felt like they were supposed to be there for a reason and they added something to the show. It makes me really sad because a lot of shows that I enjoy a lot kind of fall into this pit of being drawn out because whoever owns the show wants it to and they see it's popular. Honestly, I've been having that problem with X-Files because I've not finished it yet and I'm having a hard time getting to the end. Anyway, this is not about X-Files, but I'm glad to see that Over the Garden Wall doesn't fall into this trend and told the story it wanted to tell. The thing I really enjoyed was Wart's character development. I feel like the best kid shows are kid shows that can be enjoyed by both children and adults, which means they have enough depth 
and intelligence to be enjoyed by all ages, but can also be really entertaining for kids. Though I never watched this when I was a child, and I probably would have been pretty scared by the beast. Watching work grow into a kinder person and a better brother throughout the series made it a fulfilling watch. You could kind of see his development throughout each episode, and it just it felt really planned out and well executed, which kind of brings it all back to just the show not being dragged out. While watching the show, part of me really wanted to live, or at least visit the unknown. I love the 1900s fashion and the fall weather, but then there was this other part of me that I found it a little bit, well not creepy, but I don't know, something just a little bit off about it. I really liked that, and to be honest, the more I thought about it, the more I probably wouldn't want to live in the unknown. I know a lot of people believe the unknown to be an allegory for purgatory, and I feel like the feeling I just described really captures that. While watching our characters explore the unknown, you get this feeling of comfort and familiarity, but also this lingering sense of uneasiness. I feel like the thought of staying in the unknown forever is pretty scary. I really applaud the writers for creating this world that almost feels like a character in itself. I love thinking about the unknown and all the possibilities of it as well as how I would feel about going there. So yeah, it's really interesting stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening to my rambling. I hope some of that made sense and maybe I convinced a few of you to watch the show. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as well as follow me at AliFlower88 on Instagram. Bye!